And another one gone, another one gone, another one bites the dust. Hey, the diddle do do another one bites the dust, the diddle yeah he. Steve Bannon. Good morning, YouTube. <clears throat> How y'all doing today? One of my subscribers told me yesterday, they said, oh, your, your commentary is so much better when you don't sing. <laughs> I said, excuse me, thank you. Good morning, YouTube. Steve Bannon, another one of Trump's. Uh, all the people, if y'all noticed that all the people who surrounded Trump and put him in the White House, they're all criminals. Now they got Steve Bannon. He done stole a million dollars from some charity. Wasn't Trump accused of the same thing in his Trump charities, but he had to close it down and he cannot operate a Trump charity ever again in life? They're all crooks. Now they got Steve Bannon down there in the lockup. He's been he's in the federal lockup. He done started some crowdfunding. It's called wait a minute. It's called uh We Build the Wall. I believe is the name of this thing. Now, let me ask you something. If this dude is allocating billions of dollars for this stupid ass wall of his, what are, uh, why did he need your twenty five million? A billion dollars. What's that, a thousand million dollars? What did they need your 25 for it? It was it stunk from the very beginning. So Steve Bannon and three of his other henchmen are all in federal lockup. He got ousted from the White House, but he was another one of them hardened bigots, right? These people, so uh, these, these, these moral people, these great... Uh, what are those religious people? The fun, Christian fun, fundamentalists, uh, they backed him. And they, every damn one of them is a crook. Every one of them. Now they didn't put him, Manafort, uh, Flynn. It's like nine of them all put in prison. How come we didn't have to put none of uh, Barack Obama's people in prison? They're crooks. So what my question was, if he's allocating billions of dollars what did he want? Twenty-five billion, a thousand million, twenty-five of those lined up. What in the hell was this twenty-five million dollars going to do? You ripped your own damn people off. Then, so that had to be a scam from the very beginning because you're not even making a dent. You're not even putting up one pole in no damn wall. But I can only feel so sorry for the people. Because they're, they're probably bigots too, because they're willing to give their money, to their own personal money, to build this wall to keep the, the Mexican people out of this country, to deny them the same opportunity that their ancestors had. Their ancestors at some point had the same. They, they all came here. Then they want to block anybody else from getting in. Trump's original sin, when he came off that escalator, terrorizing the Mexican people. So this is associated with Trump. It's about his wall, right? We don't hear about his wall so much. Maybe people come to realize, you know what? Those people weren't raping anybody. They pointed out one case in California. Those people weren't all drug dealers. Those were families we tore apart. When we saw their children locked in cages, we said, isn't this a little bit too much to take somebody's kids from them? Right? We ain't even talking no damn wall. He'll talk about it next month. He ain't nothing to talk about. It. I love y'all. See Barack Obama last night. Beautiful. Well, he was able to convince the whole country that he should be the president. The majority of it, including many Republicans. So we know uh, uh, Barack Obama is a great mind. I don't know where he got it from. He, I mean, his soul. I don't know. It's just a clarity of thought. Where he summed up what Trump is and what Trump can't be. Not because he doesn't want to be or he wouldn't desire to be or he's not jealous of these great leaders. He can't be. That's why he admires people like, like Putin. All these people that he admires, like Putin, people who, who have forced their will on people. Anyway, back to this Bannon dude. So they got him down in the federal lockup. So it's a federal crime, so he already he, he's only sweating so many bullets because he knows Trump's going to partner him, right? Like he has all the other criminals. 
He's the president for, for uh, strong, uh, what do you call it? Strong criminal something. Criminal, no, not criminal reform. He just used that that that, that uh, woman for that. He don't give a damn about no damn prison reform. But Trump says he's a law and order president. Yet every damn criminal that put him in that office, they've all been let go. Except the ones writing a book about his ass. Bannon went in there and got him a cool million dollars. They arrested him on, I guess, is, is it a boat or a yacht in New York? Put the, put the, put the bracelets on him and his cronies. That was a ripoff. People don't be stupid. How in the hell you gonna wait? You gonna raise through whatever you say crowdfunding? So is it GoFundMe? Enough money to affect anything up in that damn wall? He's asking for a bit. He's spending billions of dollars on it, and you gonna come in and you gonna get your twenty five dollars for it too? I want to make sure they get it. Nasty people. So I I can only feel so much compassion for you and whatever money you lost. Because why are you giving to something like that? Is your is your bigotry? And hatred so that you feel like you have to do something extra. So in that way, maybe it's best that you did get ripped off. Doesn't excuse the fact that this man here is a criminal and he's been let go. Hell, why didn't he let me go? Shit. What did I steal? A sweater from a supermarket? I, they gave me three years in prison. A sweater from a department store? That was the original crime, I think. Something, something worth less than 50 bucks. Send me to prison for three years. These motherfuckers are still in millions of dollars. Millions. Perhaps when it's all totaled up, billions of dollars. And their president lets them go. Donald Trump. So, yes, Bannon, you got to hurry up and get arraigned because Donald Trump got to be able to, uh, to, to, to pardon you before he gets out of office. And he's not, he's not ashamed to do that because he's done it over and over and over again. Don't snitch. Don't tell. Anyway, this story just broke today. Bandit. That makes nine of them. Nine of them that have been arrested, charged. Many of them convicted and let go. Anyway, let me end, end this thing on, on a higher note. I thought Barack Obama was brilliant last night. I thought Kamala Harris was brilliant last night. I wish she could. So, well, see, he got the right one. You got the right one, baby. I think Kamala Harris is the kind of woman who does her research. She's able to pull about all of this shit that Trump has done. But fortunately, she's only going to have to do it for less than three months. Because his ass is going to be gone. Oh, glory. We're going to be rid of Trump and we can get back to the business of this country. We can stop this wasting money on shit like walls. Is he even going to mention coronavirus in, when, when they start next, next week, whenever they start with this Republican convention? Is he even going to mention it? Barack Obama said it best. And I think Michelle Obama implemented the same thing. He doesn't do better because he that he can't. He doesn't have it in him. He's not any president. He's a reality star. That's what you voted for. Or that's what we allowed we allowed to happen by not voting. 